Hey Southern Pride fans, Bill Barons here, and we've got a big show coming up this Saturday, January 1st, Boys and Girls Club Monroe, Georgia, 7 p.m. bell time. We want to see each and every one of you there. First of all, let me thank the 250 plus that came out to our last show, a show that celebrated the career of Jimmy Rave, and a lot happened on that show that's going to lead to this show this Saturday. One of the things that happened, probably the most disconcerting thing, and I know it's not sitting well at all with Jacob Ashworth, was what happened in his match with the special enforcer Techi Matucci and Dr. Brock. You know what? I just think, and I've discussed this with Dave Manders, the boss, I've, I think that Brock has been using us for quite a while now. When it was convenient for him, he was on our side. And yeah, Matucci was in the cage when we were fighting against the approved, but I think Dr. Brock had a method to his madness, and he wanted to see the approved dissolved, or at least damaged, and certainly that has happened. But then, Techi turns. And JBE is back. And JBE will be in action. Matucci and Reyes. But they're not going to just walk in and take on a team of nobodies. Nope, they're going to take on a guy that's been a champion in the state of Georgia off and on over a 20-year period. And his son, Jeremy Vane and Jaden are going to be staring across the ring at you, Dr. Brock. So you got a little bit of a challenge. And you know what? I don't see on, on this list that I got right here that Jacob Ashworth has a match scheduled. At least not yet. But I believe he's going to be there. And I believe he's going to make sure his presence is felt after what happened to him at our last show. But you know, when we talk about tag teams, you got to talk about the champs, you got to talk about Happy Madness, and they've got a tough, tough title defense when they take on the Undeniable, managed by Matthew Hankins. And as I've said before, I know Matthew Hankins well. And he and his team are a force to be reckoned with any time they're in competition. So I'm going to have my eyes on this title match. Also, last show, both those teams had wins. The teams that ended up losing are going to get a chance to redeem themselves. Well, at least one will when the popular Palmetto Express take on TSF. One team moves up in the rankings, and one team moves a bit farther down. So we'll be watching that carefully. CT Keys is going to be in action, and he's got a match against Zach Mosley. Understand Strict 9 is going to be in the building. Not sure what he's doing, but anytime Strict 9's in the building, all sorts of crazy can occur, at least in my experience. And I understand we're going to see the approved, and I'm sure that they're a little bit upset, if not before, a whole lot more after our last show with their former leader, Todd Sexton. And I know that things aren't going real well with Todd and Kelly. But I gotta say, I'm a little bit proud of Todd. I was disappointed with him for quite a while. I like to consider myself, you know, a mentor of Todd's. And when he lashed out against Dave Manders, and inevitably me, uh, it hurt. But with time comes wisdom, I think. And I think that Todd has learned where his priorities lie. And yeah, things are shaken up in his life, at home and at Southern Fried. But right now, what Todd needs to be thinking about is, who has my back? As I know, it's going to take a while 
for the Southern Fried roster to trust Todd Sexton after what happened with the approved over the last year or so. Classics champion, new one, Najazism. He's got an open challenge. What that means? We won't know until we get there. And it could be anyone. So you want to make sure you're there to see that. And I've got a special announcement about our champion, David Ali, and his next opponent. And I'm not going to spill the beans right now. But if you're there Saturday night, boy, are you going to hear something special. Because one of the major stars in the state of Georgia is coming to Southern Fried Championship Wrestling. And unfortunately, when you're the Southern Fried Champ, there's a big target on you. And you've got to step up against the best, not only in the state, but around the world. Because that's the history of the Southern Fried title. And I'm just glancing down to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Looks like not. At least I hope not. But if I've forgotten anything, you'll definitely find out Saturday night, 7 p.m. bell time, Boys and Girls Club, Monroe, Georgia. Hope you all are there. We did 250 last time. Come on, let's get over 300 people in that building and let's ring in the new year together. This is Bill Behrens, and I'll see you at the matches.